we've been talking for the last three weeks about stewarding our conscience and the person of Holy Spirit. This is such a crucial, pivotal topic to talk about. And it's not theory or theology or intellectualism. This is a person we are talking about. And we're going to be talk, talking about obeying the person of Holy Spirit and being led by the Spirit of God. So it's better to obey than it is to sacrifice. Or let me say this. God is even more delighted when my heart wants to obey Him than when I'm just bringing a great offering. Offerings are good, but obedience is better. Because we love self-serving selfishness to prosper our own selves, but it's hard and costly to do something that He wants. Right here, there's two instances where they try to do literally preach the Word, and the Holy Spirit's like, don't say a word. Here we have an inhibitive Holy Spirit. What? I thought we could just be free and like just float down the river and just whatever we find ourselves to do, we should do it because that's what God would want, right? Because He just wants us to be creative and figure out our own life, right? Nope. This is important because here's the deal. They had work to do. And maybe if they had have gone to those areas prematurely, they would have died and not fulfilled the fullness of what God wanted to. And that region wasn't ready to receive the word yet. So Holy Spirit said, don't say anything just yet. Like that right there is starting to paint a very different picture of Holy Spirit than a lot of the modern church paints. A lot of the modern church just says, you're a free agent, be whatever you want to be, say whatever you want to say. But that isn't the person of God. God is ordered and structured and very well planned because He wants us to walk in line with Him. Now, can I just make this statement? It's not so you can be controlled. It's so you can walk in the perfect reason you were designed. God, we try and put things in our life that we weren't designed to hold. You've seduced and manipulated everyone in your life, but the one person you cannot trick is God. The Spirit is a Spirit of truth. He is a plumb line of absolute, and if you step to the right, you're exposed, and if you step to the left, you're exposed. When God's saying, don't do this, don't fornicate, don't live with sexual immorality, don't be a drunkard, when He's saying this stuff, He's not trying to take your fun away. He's trying to get you to walk in perfect design, because when you walk in perfect design, you walk in purpose, You walk in in productivity of the thing. You walk in a personal level of satisfaction. Because the Holy Spirit is never going to contradict the Word of God. You understand that? They are one. They agree. So you getting some weird feelings and goosebumps is never, ever going to contradict what's written in the Bible. The Bible says there is a way that seems right to a man, but the end leads to destruction. I'm not trying to get anyone in this room or watching to listen to what I'm saying out of fear. But the reality is, is if you stray from the narrow path, you're on the wide path by default. It's just that simple. See, if you want to walk with God, this is what it looks like. Pleasing Him, not fulfilling the lust of the flesh, walking in obedience, not just dropping money in the bag at church. There you go, God, I've done my duty. This is kingdom. We've been told lies. We've been told, we've been given wrong teaching, guys. This is kingdom. No greater life, no greater love has he that lays his life down for his friend. What if that looks like obedience, saying no to the things I want to? My friend is Jesus, not just my neighbor. What if me laying my life down looks like saying no to something that I'd, I'd been, I'd decided on my whole life that I wanted to do or I wanted to be, and actually that was an idol, and he wanted to be the king of my life, and that thing needed to go to the bye byes You see, when you walk in the spirit with God, if you're prepared to say no to the stuff that you want that God doesn't, I'm telling you, authority and anointing is going to come on your life. So when it matters in a moment like this, darkness is evicted and heaven comes. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to learn more on this topic, follow the links in the description.